But the Quran doesn't say that at all. The Quran does, is, expresses vehement anger at Jews who don't, as an example, keep Shabbos. So if you go to uh, al Bakra, um, which is the second surah, it is al Bakra is, is so large, it's the largest surah in the Quran. In fact, al Bakra is so large and it covers so much material that uh, it's a, a pro- it accounts, one surah accounts for approximately one-twelfth of the whole Qur'an. So what we find in the Qur'an in that sense is really just, yes, criticizing Jews who what? Criticizing Jews who don't keep Shabbos as an example. That's not the only thing. You know, there's a criticism apparently according to the Qur'an in, in Ataba in chapter 9, uh, it is said that there were Jews who believed the prophet Ezra was the son of God. We don't know of anyone like that. The tafsir, which means the Islamic commentators, say that this is not all the Jews. They all do, right down the line to the pre-classic period of tafsir, to the classical period of tafsir. They all say there's a few Jews who have this heretical belief. Well, frankly, I'll be honest with you. If there's a Jew running around who believe that Ezra, who was a prophet, and Muslims believe that Ezra was a prophet as well, there's a Jew who worshipped, God forbid, Ezra, who worshipped Isaiah as divine, I would say that they're also a bunch of <laughs> that they're also Allah, that they're apes and Allah's against them. So what you find in the Quran, and, and please, please contrast this where you have constantly throughout the Quran where, where the Jews are told, keep the Torah, keep Shabbos, keep the mitzvahs, don't abandon your Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu Moses is spoken of I guess I said, you, you will find Moses all over the Quran. You know, Jesus is there too, it's true, but Moses, there, many, many, many more times does the Quran see on Moses and the beautiful work. And the Quran says to the Jews that the Torah that is in your hands, you should abide by it. The Quran says, I gave the Torah to the Jewish people, it's in their hands. Why are they coming to Muhammad in order to find out how to live? They have the Torah. Now, compare that where the Quran is in encouraging the Jews to keep the Torah of Moshe of blessed memory, compare that, and I'm going to give it a straight, and if there's a Christian who hates my guts, I don't care. I love you guys, but i got to tell you the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. Think of the filth that Paul, I mean, I want to say this, on the day of judgment, do not be anywhere near him. Paul is telling the Jews constantly, don't keep the Torah. He's telling to everyone it's been abrogated. It's a curse. You will never find such such dirty, abom- such an abomination anywhere in the Quran. The Quran says the opposite. I mean, compare this. I mean, look, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? I'm not going to play games with you. Paul is, to us, the biggest, practically the biggest disaster in history, theologically. I mean, what he did, I, I would not want to have dinner with him. I would not want to. I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near him. What he did is is just to the Jew rips off, and the Muslim too. They hate it what he did, and they they're correct in understanding that Paul completely messed up all the teachings of what they believe is Jesus that Isa that Jesus was a prophet. 